Hi my wrestlers, welcome back to my channel and if you haven't been here before, welcome to the Razzlers family and do click the little subscribe button so you'll be part of the big family and click the little bell so you'll be notified of all my big jazz hand videos I do so in this video I'm going to be chit chatting about um, pride stuff and all that jazz and just general chit chat because it's coming up to pride month or we're in pride month and I thought I'd do a video on this topic and just me chit chatting in general about myself and pride and all of these different subjects in one really I think so first of all I want to start this because I wasn't going to wear this top because I have noticed I've worn it in quite a lot of videos but the top I was going to wear was way too booby and I was just like no that's not going to happen because I always get loads of comments about all this and I thought no we're just going to put a normal t-shirt on and that'd be fine for now so as you may know or may not know I'm very openly gay and being a lesbian and I love all the that kind of community and I always like be there for people if they're trying to come out or if they're just trying to find themselves because there's so many people out there who want to find themselves and want to find who they actually are and I'm one for helping them and wanting them to be happy in their own skin because that's at the end of the day what you should be with me I don't like the whole secret like because I've been on obviously dating sites and things and you get there sometimes the people who want to have like a secret love and I don't get this at all because if but this is me I guess I mean there's so many different people out there so don't obviously have a go at me if you're thinking differently because I don't think you should hide someone away because I'm openly happy the way I am and if I'm with someone I want to be proud of being with that person I don't want to be one of these kind of flings and hidden away I mean if you're like seeing someone and having fun that's fine but I mean I'm not going to be hidden in a closet I mean honey I've come out of that closet quite a while ago now I'm not going back in there because I'm happy in my life I am in so if that's the way you want to have a secret thing going on then you do that because that's obviously your stuff going on in your life that you need to sort out because I'm not going to be someone's secret because that is not how I am and not how I roll but hey ho I don't know what your opinion is on this kind of thing if you would be okay having a secret thing with someone and be hidden behind the scenes and things but I just hate all that I mean I think especially nowadays you should be happy and open if you're in a relationship or seeing someone and not be able not have to hide and be worried what other people think because that's their problem that is not your problem I mean if they're shouting stuff at you obviously it becomes your problem but if you are able to stand up for yourself and you know that person's in the wrong because they're shouting that stuff at you then yeah that is their issue not yours but that is my opinion I just wanted to get that off my chest another topic I find quite interesting is the whole kind of how lesbians always oh, I want to say hate but that's such a strong word because I, I want to say it's hate um by girls because I think the thing behind it is because obviously with someone who puts themselves in that category they're obviously saying they're like male and female and stuff but sometimes there's certain ones who only want to come I sounds funny who come and be a lesbian because they feel like it's too much hard work being a man and I find that hilarious because honey it's just as much effort being with a woman as it surely it is with a man because it doesn't make it easier because you're both women at all sometimes it probably makes it more difficult I don't know this, well it makes it easier and difficult I think because you both are on the same kind of level in a way but it's definitely not easier so it always makes me laugh when it says oh I'm off men now so I'm gonna become a lesbian you don't just change into something it's not like one day you just wake up and think oh hang on a sec but I like I say I love all people out there and I think you're fabulous the way you are but if you go around saying that you're gonna be like you're into women and men and but you are more just don't play people basically because I think that's why they get bad stick because certain people and I know this from like quite a lot of people I've been talking to in the past and stuff and things that they you get played because at the end of the day they probably would run back to a man 
not all, I'm not saying all people out there, but I just know this. And if they give up, give off that vibe, that that's what's gonna happen, then it doesn't make you feel comfortable at all. And you wanna be with someone you feel comfortable with. And you wanna be some, with someone that you can like grow with and just like grow together and develop together and all that magical stuff. You don't wanna be this kind of person that thinks that you're second best, I guess. But I know I would never be second best, but I'm just saying. Another subject I wanted to chit chat about is being a femme lesbian or a stem. I think there's like a line between maybe stems a bit more, not so feminine. But I don't even know what category. I think I am stem, femme, whatever. I fit into that category, but yeah, hey ho, categories are just there, aren't they? Um, it's really interesting to see the kind of people I attract because sometimes I attract from one level to another level, I attract like the proper, like, I don't even know what you call them, that really intense, I'd say, lesbians that are very full on and very go for it straight away. They're like, ask you a million questions and want to send you 10,000 pictures and you're just like, whoa, okay, chill it a little bit. And with me, I'm very, I don't like, it's good fun flirting and stuff but you want to get to know the person as well you don't just want to have a hundred pictures or them sending voice notes and god knows what else I mean and then I get the other extreme what people chat to me who have like recently come out of the closet or recently found that they like women and that is lovely because obviously they feel they can approach me and stuff but then you have to be a bit more careful with how you are with that person because you don't want to be too confident and scare them off in a way yeah so it seems to be one extreme to the other i mean in the middle i have spoke to obviously people who are in the visual category as well who are very like me um they are happy with who they are and very confident with who they are and but it's just funny how I do attract a lot more up this level or this level, not in the middle. And But I don't know if that is because I am a switch as well. So I switch in between, sometimes you do get typically a male and female role. But with like the past relationships I've been in or when I'm dating someone, I don't have this role. I kind of switch like with both because I don't feel you should necessarily... This is me, of course, some relationships like having the whole person who is the stud and is the feminine person because they like that role, but I just don't. I like being able to just switch and being with someone who's girly, but being with someone who is also very independent and able to deal with their own stuff as well. Because I just like the mix of it all. I don't like someone who's completely always gonna be saying, let's do this, let's do that. You want to be, well this is me, you want to be with someone who you're able to just vibe with and yeah, be yourself I guess the main thing is, isn't it? What I found interesting as well over this time of, of course we're all in lockdown still, I mean a bit that we can go out a little bit more and stuff but we're still in lockdown, I mean we can't really meet up with new people because I just wouldn't at the moment but it's just interesting how people are so different because me personally, when I chat to someone, I want to meet up with them quite soon because even like if it's a friendship or whatever, I like to know in person if you're going to bond with that person because you can meet up with someone and you just don't vibe together, you don't bond, you don't connect and through text or on the phone, it's just difficult sometimes to know that connection. So it's been quite different for me because obviously you're chit-chatting to new people because I love meeting new people and I just love yeah knowing that a, like a friend could be a stranger that you didn't know yet and just getting to know new people and yeah like broadening my friendship group I mean I have fabulous friends as it is and my family are amazing but I mean it's always good to have new people in your life and it's just yeah you do have to connect with that person a lot more because you're not going as fast with the whole meeting up so you kind of I suppose you get to know them a bit deeper maybe and a bit more of a 
deep connection and stuff. So it has been different, a lot different, like chatting to new people. Um, I have been on TikTok a lot and that has kind of been a little bit of a, kind of keeps me not crazy. I don't know if you've seen my other video of my TikToks. And it's kept me like not going a bit mad. And so I've been on there and like chat to new people as well because I like chatting to artists and stuff as well. I just like a varied, fabulous, unique people that I just like to talk to basically. I mean, there isn't one category that I think, oh, that is exactly the person that I want to chat with. I mean, I do like to talk to very, yeah, different and unique people that I think, wow, they've got something different about them. They're not a plain Jane, if you get what I'm saying. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. It was a bit random about me chit chatting about anything and everything, but on the prize category and on lockdown and dating and all that jazz. If you like this kind of video, do give me a thumbs up. If there's anything else you want me to chit chat about, do put in the comment box, because then I'll do another video on that. And remember, enjoy Pride Month, enjoy Pride Time. It's a shame we can't be out and celebrate, but next year we'll be there with a lot more flags and glitter. And see you guys later. Remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe box and ring that little bell. And see you guys later. Stay fabulous.